Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you my experience shopping for a Chinese artist on the internet. I know it sounds quite odd. I'll explain to you why I did this and what I learned from it. I wanted to make a series of videos on selling your art in China or getting in touch with a Chinese artist and the Chinese market, but I don't really know where to start from. Like I was really lost. And for those of you who know that I'm doing a 14 day mandatory quarantine and I'm isolated. So I did a lot of thinking and soul searching, basically just sitting in the bed, looking out the window and thinking if I could meet any people in art in China, who would I rather meet? What is the person that I'm most interested in talking to. And finally, I decided I would like to chat with a young emerging artist who are at the very start of the career, who had no idea how to approach the art market. But I left China when I was 24. I met a lot of artists when I was 24, but when I came back, they all grow old. I mean, old as experience, not a bad thing. I also grow old. I could not really uh, to just flip through my phone book and talk to someone. I don't really know anyone. So I'm stuck. And suddenly I thought about, I'm going to go on Taobao. For those of you who don't know, Taobao is a Amazon of China. The uh, CEO of Alibaba, Jack Ma, is like the Jeff Bezos of China, super successful. And on Taobao, you can find everything. And a few days ago, I found this really cute pin and customizable t-shirt and uh, different things, uh, super fun things, uh, unique pieces, handmade items like Etsy and Amazon. And you know, like it's a combination of everything together. And it also has services. So I thought it's a good idea to go on Taobao to talk to artists and pay them so that they can get paid to work and talk to me. It's not like I'm wasting their time or anything. And also I can have an unbiased view of the situation because it's quite random. It's not like I talk to the people I know, then they tend to have a similar kind of opinion. I don't want to fall into my own closed circle. I want to broaden my view on this matter so I can help emerging artists better. So I went on Taobao and today I would like to show you my A to Z shopping experience. If you would like to sell your art on Taobao in China or find the artist on Taobao, definitely this video will help you. Make sure you listen to it towards the end where I will be sharing more insights. So now let's go to Taobao and see. I have three cats. They are Mini, Mishi, Miso. Mini is the oldest, Mishi is the cutest, and Miso is the youngest. And they're all my babies. I love them so much. And I thought if I I have to ask someone draw me something, it's better to draw my cats because I'll enjoy it as well. And also the artists tend to also like to draw cute fluffy animals. So I thought to find just an artist to draw three cats. When I searched illustrator designer on Taobao, I found hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of items and they belong to different stores. Of course, there are some stores with several items, but they tend to belong to a variety of different stores or kind of uh, collectives or groups or companies. And I couldn't choose. So I decided to split the work and let three artists draw my three cat, one each, so I can widen my vision and have a wider uh, selection of artists to talk to so I can get to know their lives uh, from you know completely different stages of career. And I talked to uh, first this artist and the person who received me through the chat. So this is a thing to do on Taobao. You go to the item, you check the store. As you can see, the store had different items, had a good review and I liked it. So I just clicked on chat. And in the message system, you can uh, send pictures. So I said, hi, my name is Momo. And she said, hey, my name is Momo as well. Like we both Momo, which was like funny, like a fate brought us together. And I sent uh, some photos of my cat, Mini, and asked her to draw me Mini. And she asked me, what is the style you want? And I told her any style, urban art, paper card, Chinese watercolor, um, cubism, as long as you can imagine, I don't mind. And she said, I can do a variety of different styles. I usually cater to the style that is preferred by my customers. Um, what style do you prefer? 
So I told her, how about, you know, artworks like quite trending recently? And then I asked her, do you use Wacom or Procreate so that I can send her more precise styles? And she got really kind of uh, intimidated. She said, wait, are you an artist? Like, are you working in the field of art? So I told her, look, this is again for the uh, video I'm going to make. It doesn't matter how you draw. This is not for commercial purposes. So this will not ruin my business. I don't have ex any expectations whatsoever. I'll give you a high review. Uh, she was still very intimidated, especially after uh, looking at the stuff we did on our own Instagram. And she was thrilled to know that we are also very creative. And she said, how about I find you another artist uh, that is a better fit for your need? And then before I could say anything, she shuffled me to another artist. I actually like the fact she could push me to another artist so she could share the work, share the money with another artist. It's not like me, 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 my money, my customers. It's quite nice to have a collective of artists who could kind of support each other and find the best fit uh, between the customers and artists. Why not? So I talked to the second person whose name is Yu. And the second person uh, was also very chatty, very friendly, and who said, so can you tell me what can I do for you today? So I went all over again, the same thing. And she said, so what is the style you want? And this time I got smart. So I said, okay, so I want some element with a, like a Chinese style. Any Chinese style you can master, I want it. And she's like, oh, I can do different things. And she sent me some examples like this. And I was like, okay, how about I show you um, a similar style, but some other artist works. So I showed her this artist and then she was super intimidated again, like uh, previously Momo did. And she was like, oh, this artist is really mature. I cannot do. <laughs> I think she could be more confident. So I told her, look, your store is a 4.9 out of five. You have uh, high reviews. I think you're doing fine. If you can just do me an artwork as long as you're happy with, I'm fine. And I'm able to give you five-star review regardless. It doesn't really matter. This is just for the purpose of video. But I like the fact she's humble. So I sent her more works from this artist that she liked. And she asked me, what is the software that you search art from? So I said, uh, this is called Instagram and uh, it's where uh, we search for inspirations outside of China. And she's like, what? Instagram? <laughs> she has never heard of Instagram because in China, um, Instagram is absent. Um, so does uh, Google, <laughs> also YouTube. So it's a very different environment. Uh, we have our own equivalent like TikTok, right? We have the Chinese TikTok and foreign TikTok. We have the equivalent. We are not lack of social media. We actually had too much of social media like TikTok, you can imagine, but they are not exposed to foreign artists' works and trends and what, you know, the world is looking and shopping. It's not good or bad. It's just the way it is. And then I told her, don't worry, I would like to show you more. It's not to give you pressure, just to show you. And she was actually very keen to learn. So this is something I really like, that she's humble, but it's a pity that she doesn't really have a portfolio. She doesn't have a fixed style. She just uh, does everything she could to cater to her customers. And I think in a way, she's wasting her time because she doesn't build anything solid. And most of the works she did, she doesn't have right because in um, Taobao, once you give the customers work, you, you deliver the work, the work had nothing to do with you anymore. And th the right belongs to the customer. And in many countries, it's like that. But in Europe, in most countries in Europe, the artist had a, at least a final say. Imagine if an uh, European artist designed a, a Teletubby style baby and the customer used it in an adult environment right? that is not appropriate or the artist doesn't like it. The artist could say, um, I protest, I disagree. And then uh, you can bring the customer to the court and have a discussion and likely you can uh, eliminate the rights to use it in an inappropriate situation. In China, when she's delivering the works and working for customers, she doesn't really do anything for herself, except for she's learning the skills, but most of the customers cannot really guide her. She's all airs, which I like, but it's also her weakness and many other designer, illustrator, artist weaknesses um, on Taobao, or at least in my this 
little experience I had. So I told her, look, doesn't matter what you do, I'll give you a high review, uh, let's just settle it, um, tell me how much I should pay you. And she said, pay me 200 yuan and I will draw your cat mini. As you can see, the receipt says 190 because I had a 10 yuan coupon and that's why it's 190. It's not because I bargained with her or any sort, I did not bargain whatsoever with any of the artists uh, that I worked with. On Taobao, uh, I did another order uh, just now and I'm going to uh, do the third order to have three cats as a collection and da -da, this is the end results actually right now I have not seen the results I do not want to criticize or review the results because it doesn't really matter for me it's about talking to the artist it's about giving them the freedom to create as well as long as I feel in the end of the day I learned something I'm totally fine with a cat looking like a potato or a cat looking like a sweet potato I like sweet potatoes what I learned all in all from my experience shopping for an artist in Taobao, I think the first thing is that majority of them don't have a style, don't have their own style, and they would just cater to any style the client wants. And that's not exactly a good thing, but you know, this is the business environment, which maybe we could change it by uh, training the customers and getting them to know that uh, artists having a style is an important and a healthy thing to do, to have. And the second thing is that I find that they're extremely um, unconfident. Um, I heard so much like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> they're so intimidated. It's not a healthy feeling. So maybe next time, besides training them <laughs> to have a better style, to uh, do uh, better techniques and explore, I want them to uh, have better confidence as well. And the last thing I learned is that Chinese business environment is super competitive and they were really afraid to ask a high price. And the first artist quoted me after a long chat, like she already spent time with me, only 200. And the second artist, um, very big team, very professional as well, quoted me 100. So it's a very competitive uh, kind of pricing. Of course, I'm not saying they are dirt cheap. It's not dirt cheap. If they could have one customer per day, um, in one month, they would earn more than a civil servant, like a public job in most cities in China. So that's a good pay. But of course, depending on their skill, depending on their speed, uh, customer service, opportunities and many things, it's very hard to say finally how much they will be making. Of course, some could earn more, some could earn less. But in general, it's not a lucrative job, but it is a proper job. It's, um, let's say, profitable enough to make a living to perhaps uh, feed a family, a small family of three, not more. And it's a, a kind of a visible career choice if you don't have uh, lots of ambitions and you just want to have the flexibility of teleworking, working from home, and you like talking to customers and you don't mind difficult customers like me. No, 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 I don't want to be a difficult customer. So what do you think? Um, would you like to work on Taobao as an artist, have your own Taobao store, would you like to hire artists? All right, that's all for today. Uh, in the upcoming days, I will be showing you some other experiences I had on Taobao talking to different artists in different stages of their career, of their life. Stay tuned. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Uh, that's all for today. See you in the next video.